Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. This is your PlayStation 5 restock update for Monday. So we're going to talk a little bit about the PlayStation 5 update right here. So if this is your first time coming to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click that subscription button so you can keep up with all the updates of all things PlayStation 5. So here we go. PlayStation 5 restocks for PS Direct, Walmart, Antiline, Target, and more stock updates. So the PlayStation 5 nightmare continues to look up while a component crisis still looms. We saw consistent restocks throughout March. If that trend continues, you should have multiple chances to nab a new console every week. So yeah, the trend for the last few weeks or so has been weekly restocks. We've been seeing GameStop, Ant Online, Target, Walmart, even Best Buy has been joining the foray. We've been seeing weekly restocks on a more consistent basis. Does this mean that you're going to get one easily? No, it does not mean that you're going to get it easily. It's still six months into the next gen console generation and we're seeing a lot of issues still, especially with scalpers, with bots, with uh, website crashes, everything like that. So you still have to do your work. It still takes a lot of time. Still takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of listening to the advice that I provide you, like following accounts on Twitter, like Wario64. And it takes a lot of looking at the trends of the inventory and everything like that. There's a lot of times nothing is confirmed, nothing's conf confirmed. So I keep telling people, just take everything with a grain of salt. I know there's a couple of people that are like, you don't know anything. You have no insider. In Nobody's claimed that. You fart knocker. <laughs> I'm over here reading the stuff, showing you guys some advice, giving you guys tips and pointers of what I've noticed as well. So to those that appreciate it, thank you. Now, of course, this goes on. You can't log into Amazon and just buy PS5 anytime. It'll probably be a while until we hit that point. So you'll need to keep the hunt up if you want to nab one. Luckily, we've got it down to a science at this point. Here's everything you need to know to make sure you get a PS5 this spring. So here we go. Pop Finder, Octo Shop, other retailer tools. So these are uh, little, little advice, little tools, little extensions that they recommend that you use in order to get an advantage. So it says, we're going to show you what retailers to keep an eye on, but let's talk about tracking first. You really want to be the first person to know when restocks go live to have a shot. So setting up your own tracking system can be a real advantage. If you're looking for a recommendation, Octoshop is an excellent Google Chrome extension that will notify you as soon as restocks become available at your retailer of choice. Download it into the retailers you want it to scan and wait for a PS5 restock. Pop Finder is the way to go if you're looking to head out to a local store and pick one up in person. On top of those tools, there are plenty of helpful Twitter accounts that are worth following for restock news. We recommend following accounts like PS5 Stock Alerts, Spiel Times, and Wario64 that will tweet anytime new consoles become available at a retailer. And you can even enable push notifications whenever one or more of these accounts tweets. This article will also have links to every retailer's website that you'd want to get a PS5 from. So you might want to bookmark some pages. So let's continue on. This talks about Best Buy right here. So it says, here's the best advice we can give you at this point. Best Buy Fridays noon. So this is saying to keep an eye out Fridays at noon for Best Buy. This has pretty much been true every week this month to the point where we predicted the exact day and time of each restock. Last time we said there would be likely a restock on Friday, March 26th, around 12 Eastern. That was correct. So trust us when we say to keep an eye out Friday, April 2nd, around noon. And that's Eastern time. All right, Eastern. Best Buy had a rough patch at the start of the year, but now it's perhaps the best place to get a PS5. The website works well with tools like Octoshop, so we recommend set that up. If we do get another Friday restock this week, you want to bookmark the store's PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition pages. So yeah, guys, that's what they are recommend recommending. This article is recommending Best Buy at noon Eastern time on Friday. So pay attention to that. Bookmark the pages ahead of time, which I'll leave a link in the description so you can go to this article and then bookmark it. Um, and yeah, you should be prepared for if it does happen the worst thing could happen if it doesn't happen is that you're prepared for the next one right now going on this is target it's getting very easy to figure out when retailers will get stock next target listed a batch of ps5's thursday march 11 around 7 45 a.m eastern 
but went quiet the rest of the month. Like clock clockwork, it finally got a refresh on Thursday, March 25th around 8. So the pattern here is early mornings tend to be the sweet spot for Target. So check on them the first thing in the morning when you can. So yeah, Target seems to be early. Target has been a consistent retailer for PS5s in 2021, but it's starting to lag behind. That puts it in the perfect position to drop new consoles soon, so we recommend tracking the site via Pop Finder. If you're trying to get on, get one online, you'll have to rely on the aforementioned tools in Target's PS5 hub page. Now here comes PlayStation Direct info. This, as the name implies, PlayStation Direct is the best way to get a console directly from Sony. The only catch is that you'll have to use a queue system that's becoming the bane of many fans' existence. Going to the PS5 or PS5 Digital Edition Direct pages when a restock happens will put you in line and you'll only have a chance to get a console if it's still in stock once you reach the front. It's not a fun experience for the impatient. So yeah, you gotta wait a long time, like hours. This is another very reliable option. The queue usually opens up in the later afternoon and starts selling consoles around 4 or 5 Eastern time, PM. The most recent example of that timing came Tuesday, March 23rd, with a queue forming at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Tuesdays and Wednesdays both seem to be Sony's day of choice, so keep an eye out during your evenings on those days. So this recommends Tuesdays and Wednesdays around 5.30 p.m. or so Eastern. So recommend following up on that. Now here comes Walmart. Since when it comes to restocks, Walmart has been benevolent. It's one of the few retailers that actually gives gamers a heads up as to when consoles will go on sale. At last dropped new inventory Thursday, March 18th at 3 Eastern and gave fans advance warning. If you simply don't want to set up your own tracking, we recommend going to the Walmart route. Since it's been a few weeks, we expect to see a restock there in the next week or two. Get an edge over the rest of the world. Make sure you're following Walmart on social media. It's very rare that it doesn't give fair warning, but if you're still paranoid, you can keep an eye on their store pages anyway. So Walmart, Walmart does do a good job of alerting, of sending the notifications. So just follow those steps. Um, they actually do a good job, just like GameStop and Antonline. Now, to finish this up, this talks about GameStop. They were on a roll with two big refreshes this month. One was Thursday, March 4th at 2. The other was March 9th at 3.30. There was a bit of silence after that, so it seemed like restock was a memnet. Sure enough, the retailer restocked some bundles March 23rd at 2. So keep an eye on GameStop afternoons at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Now, they do tend to announce their restocks. They also email them. So make sure you sign up for email notifications from them. Um, they have been pretty good with weekly restocks at some point. Now, last but not least... Uh, we got Amazon right here. This says it was fun while it lasted. It seemed like Amazon was back in the game after a restock on Wednesday, March 3rd at 10. We hope this was a good sign for the inconsistent retailer, but now we're back to waiting. There's still hope Amazon could get more systems soon, but realistically, we're looking at three to four weeks between refreshes. There will probably be a restock sometime in April, but you'll need human superhuman speed to catch it. If it does happen again this month you'll want octo shop or another tool to notify you so that's about it other than you know new egg and anton line which anton line is pretty good weekly as well i would pay attention to them sign up for alerts on their twitter account things are kind of like in a limbo right now so if you guys have any more rumors heads up any kind of tips let us know in the comment section down below subscribe for more guys i'll see you on the next one thank you so much for watching